South African equity markets have felt the brunt of higher discount rates with the feed through of higher US rates impacting the cost of equity. While markets have derated alongside global markets, the earnings outlook remains relatively stable. We've seen the stronger dollar weigh on resource counters and this has affected the near-term returns on a large portion of the South African index. Over the quarter, the all share was marginally lower, dragged down by commodity counters and tech. The shining star over the quarter was the SA banking sector, as higher interest rates have resulted in a higher revenue stream with a muted impairment outlook in the near term. What will remain critical in the near term is the impact that higher rates will have on consumer defaults. At this stage, the impairment impact looks muted. However, should rates remain higher for an extended period of time, we should expect defaults to tick up. Against the backdrop of mid-single-digit PEs, 6 to 8% dividend yields and earnings in the low single digits, this should provide ample underpin to the valuation unlock in the near term. The juggernaut of the South African tech sector, NASPAS, remains firmly in the spotlight. After the recent announcement of the share buyback, the share re-rated quite sharply post-June, but as tech results have started to come out, we've seen quite a sharp derating of the share. We've noted many US tech companies pointing to slower ad growth and e-commerce revenues. This should start to reflect in what we see out of Tencent later in November. Whilst most companies will feel the effects of higher interest rates, many SA industrial companies are very well-run businesses, strong management teams and well-structured balance sheets. Multiples are starting to look very attractive and we believe now is the time to start slowly adding to your equity position. Risk may seem high, but valuations are capturing many of those dynamics.